Demo: Displaying live alarms and events using the alarm client control. In this existing Galaxy, objects are already created and deployed. From the deployment view, there's a GR platform, AOS platform, and VIS platform. Under AOS platform, there are application objects such as Plant 1, Plant 2, Western Region, or Area objects. Pump 1, Pump 2, Water Tank 1, Water Tank 2, and Main Pump are application objects. In template, Tank and Pump, there are attributes have alarm feature enabled such as level.pv in the tank template, there are limit alarms enabled for high and low. And for pump template, there's a PV attribute enabled with a state alarm. The active alarm state is stopped, so when the pump stops, an alarm will be triggered. In this galaxy, there are two wind platform objects enabled as the InTouch alarm provider. One is the AOS platform. I enabled the InTouch alarm provider for AOS platform already and leave the blank for alarm areas, which means all areas in this galaxy can be subscribed by the alarm clients. And the other InTouch alarm provider is the VIS platform. So alarms can be subscribed through VIS platform as well. In the graphic toolbox, I have already created an orchestra symbol, which is the live alarms. And take a look how to configure the alarm client control. First, I need to add the alarm client control on the drawing canvas. Then I can change the size, for example, 1000, and then just to make it a little bit bigger. To configure this alarm client control, I can double click and open the animation. First, on the alarm mode page, that I can specify the client mode of this alarm client control. Client mode has options such as current alarms, recent alarms and events, historical alarms or events, or both. For this demo, I only need to configure it for current alarms as default. So the alarm client control by default will show all the active alarms in subscribed area. How to subscribe the areas is by specifying the alarm query here. In the alarm query editor that I can put multiple filters based on a format, first I need to specify the node name of the in-touch alarm provider, such as in our case, V14. AOS, where I have deployed my AOS platform, and then provider is Galaxy by default, and then exclamation sign that I need to specify an area object, Western region, for example, use a space as the separator, and then add multiple filter such as plant one, and add another one for plant two and maybe add a system objects. So just add system objects. For color page, that I can customize colors for the alarm record, including the text font color and the background color for each type of events or alarms. And I can customize the heading, grid color, and the window backgrounds. I'm not going to customize my color here, just leave everything as default. On the column page, that I can customize column sizes and display name for each column and sorting order for the alarm records in the alarm control. For each column, I can decide show the column or not by checking or unchecking the checkbox in front of each column names. For example, if I don't want to show class and then just disable it. If I want to show that again, just to show it again. Underneath of the configuration that you can see a preview area will display how the columns will look like after the customization. I can also adjust the sequence of each column, how they display before other columns or after any other columns. So just using the arrow buttons, such as I want to display the name in the front, 
just to put name in the front. I can change the display name. I want to show attribute because in application server we're actually displaying attribute and time. I just want to show time for group, which refer as area. Just change group to area. Furthermore. That I want to display operator. I want to display user. User one column will display the alarm severity information. So I just change that to severity. I can also change the width of each column. For example, the attribute name it doesn't need 100 pixels. So just change that to 80. And for severity, it doesn't need 100. Just change to 50. For example. And while I change the configuration here for column details, the preview changes, and I can specify sort column. First, the sort column as time. I want to change that as descending, so that I can see the most recent alarm on the top. I can also change the sorting order from the preview area as well. I can sort by ascending or descending by clicking at the heading of the column in the preview area. Or I can specify another sort column. Change them as well. I can change the width of the column from here as well. From the column details, it will change accordingly. So I just need to see my alarm clock control look like this. Scroll to the right so I can see all the columns I have already enabled. For the query filter, since I define the Default query filter on the alarm mode page for current alarm client mode. The default query filter cannot be deleted from the alarm query filter page. I cannot delete the default query filter, but I can change it. Once I change the configuration here on the alarm mode page, the default query filter will be changed accordingly as well. I can add more query filter, such as I can add plant one. And then I need to specify the node name. I can specify the alarm provider B14 VIS node, and click on set. And then I need to specify the provider because our alarm is coming from application server, coming from our Galaxy. So just to specify the name as Galaxy, and I need to specify the group name, which is our area names. Change to plant one, set, and new query filter has been created as well. I can export my predefined query filter as a file, such as plant one XML file. Save it, and I can import alarm query filter from another file, such as my queries. Replace yes, replace it. And then I got more query filter I have predefined, such as the default one. I can see the details are from Western Region, and Plant One, and Plant Two, and System Objects. And then Plant One, Plant Two, Western Region, Plant One shelved, and Plant Two shelved, querying those shelved alarms. Time setting page. I can specify time zone or specify a particular time format. So I just leave everything as default here. On runtime behavior page, that I can define the behavior or enable, disable capability or features for the alarm client control. For example, I want to show the grid at runtime, and I want to auto scroll to the new alarm. Maybe not because it will always scroll to the new alarms, and you can't see very well. And I can hide errors or warnings, and I can allow at runtime the user can customize the size of the column. That resizing column at runtime doesn't change the configurations. It just allow user can changing the width of the column to see more details. At runtime, that I can hide certain selected alarm records. If I enable retain hidden, while、well, I change alarm query filters, those hidden alarm record will be still hidden. If I disable retain hidden feature, once I hide certain alarms and then I change the alarm query filter, if those hidden alarms meet the alarm query filter criteria, they will show up. 
So I want to retain hidden. I don't want to see those hidden alarm records. At runtime, I can also freeze the alarm client control from updating. And I can specify a auto resume after certain seconds. For example, 10 seconds. If I freeze updating the alarm client control, it will automatically resume after 10 seconds. Otherwise, I can manually unfreeze it. If there's no record, I can specify no record message. I can also enable multiple row selections for the user. Also, alarm client control can require shoving signature or acknowledged signatures. So I can enable those if I need to. On the right hand side, show context menu. I can decide what items from the context menu at runtime can be shown. For example, I don't want to show acknowledge selected group or acknowledge selected priority. I don't want to show selected group. I don't want to show shelf selected priority or shelf selected severity. I don't want to show those context menus. So I just uncheck those checkbox. Data binding. Alarm client control has a lot of properties that I can bind to a reference to either read the value of the property or I can write to the property of the alarm client control using an outside reference, such as I can find the show grid. If I cannot find it, then I can show all properties. So I can find the show grid, for example. This is a read and write property that I can use a reference to control the visibility of the grid for the alarm client control. Event page that I can define script based on events that will be triggered on this alarm client control. For example, there's a new alarm event. So whenever there's a new alarm generated in the alarm client control, I can customize a piece of script to execute for a certain purpose. And I'm not going to add any script for this demo purpose. Just a click OK and finish my configuration. And now you can see the alarm client control actually shows the grid. I can add those properties for alarm client control. At runtime, I can dynamically change the client mode. For example, client mode current alarms. I can define a push button animation, for example, and change analog and then just uh, use a reference from alarm client dot client mode. This property is an enumeration data type. So I can put a set as one. One means current alarm client mode. I can duplicate this button and change client mode to recent alarms and events and change the value to 2 and that's it. If I save this orchestra symbol and switch to InTouch application, in InTouch application I have already created a window for live alarms and then I just need to embed my orchestra symbol live alarm on this window and switch to runtime. At runtime, alarms are sorted by the time descending order. So the latest alarm appears on the top. I can also sort by states, by time as well, and change the width for the attribute. So I can see water tank 2 level.pv high is currently unacknowledged but returned to normal. And alarm type is high. Priority is 200. And all other information for this alarm are displayed. I can acknowledge selected by right click on the context menu. Acknowledge selected. Once I acknowledge this alarm, I need to provide an acknowledged comment. For example, acknowledged by upper one. And that alarm disappeared from the list, but it's not gone. I can switch to the client mode for recent alarm and events and sort by time. Then I can see acknowledge return for the water tank to level PV high. This one has been acknowledged and also return to normal. And if I want to scroll to the right, 
Then I can see the alarm comments column. Acknowledge by upper one. And because I don't have security, the user operator shows as default user. From recent alarm and events, I cannot do acknowledgement and I cannot show alarms either because those are recent alarms and events. If I sort by class that I can see all the events here. If I switch to current alarm mode that I can shove alarms, shove all alarms, then I need to specify duration and give a reason. And those alarms will disappear if I'm able to shove those alarms. To show those shoved alarms, I can select a query filter and select plant one shoved this is the shoved alarm. I can unshove alarms from here as well. I don't have to provide a duration and reason. I can select for plant two and then unshove this alarm as well. And now use the query filter and select the default. All the alarm will show up again. I can also select certain rows that I want to hide. For example, I'm going to hide Plant 2 from AOS platform and the Western region from AOS platform. Just hide selected. I can select which one I don't want to hide. For example, hidden. I can see those alarms are being hidden. I can select one of them or multiple ones untied. They will appear in the alarm client control again. Unhide this as well. From the status bar that I can see is displaying one to eight of eight alarms. So totally for current alarms, I have eight alarms and now it's 100% completed displayed. And then I can see there's a unacknowledged alarm, there are eight of them. And this is current alarm mode. If I switch to recent alarms and events, the alarm client mode will change to recent alarms and events. Change to current as well. I can also freeze alarms display from updating. So whenever there's a new alarms, it will not display right away. It's frozen. And after 10 seconds, because I set auto resume as 10 seconds, it's updating again. Let me freeze again, freeze. Then I can see it's frozen, display frozen. And after 10 seconds, it will update it again new alarm has been displayed here. At runtime, I can also customize query filter. I can add new query filters. For example, I can delete the existing query filter. I don't need them. And I want to customize some query filter by myself. I can do add new query filters. But I cannot delete the default ones. So just add a new query filter like plant one. And then I need to specify the node name. I can query alarms from the visualization ones, VIS. And then provider is Galaxy. Area is plant one. And query it. Now that I can see water tank and sort by time again, unacknowledged, return to normal. And then the node is from the VIS. If I change the query filter from DEV, which is not an in-touch alarm provider, and I will not getting any record back because the dev computer for the GR platform is not enabled as an in-touch alarm provider. So just change the node here back to VIS or AOS. And this is the end of the demo.